So today we're going to be talking about shot hoe leaf disease of cherries. This time of the year, about midsummer is when we often start seeing this on flowering cherries and fruiting cherries in home landscapes. Uh, very commonly you start to see purplish areas or black spotting on leaves that eventually drop out, leaving these holes in the foliage. So this is a weeping cherry that started to get some of this. It is primarily found worse in years when we have lots of rainfall. So very wet years cause this. Trees that are very heavily branched with not a lot of air circulation are also prone to uh, cherry leaf spot disease. Um, recommendations to prevent the disease are to keep your trees pruned to be as open canopied as possible and also uh, make sure you rake up the leaves in the fall. This tree has lots of open space underneath the canopy which is helpful but you might also want to prune out some branches on the sides uh, if you can to thin out the canopy so that a good airflow is able to penetrate through the canopy. The other issue with this sort of leaf disease is that it comes in both a bacterial and fungal form. Fungicides can be used on the fungus issue, uh, the fungal pathogen, but the bacterial pathogen, um, unfortunately that will not work of course, since it is a bacterial infection. So there are two different diseases that create very similar um, symptoms on the trees. The only way to find out what you have is to uh, send your leaf samples down to your local extension office, drop them off, uh, call ahead because of COVID-19 these days, and then they can send a sample down for testing uh, to your extension office. So hope that helps. If you have any questions, post them on the video. As always, please like the channel and subscribe.